What's up YouTube, Ryan here. I just wanted to show you guys what it's like in China. I'm just outside taking a walk. This is on the freaking street. Everyone's staring at me because I have a white baby, but <laughs> yeah, there's just hell of a lot of people out, you know? It's pretty crazy here sometimes. But I like it, it's nice and lively. I'm gonna sneak between these two uh, fish trucks. So it's like five o'clock or 5.30 on a weekday evening, pretty close to the beach. And this is just like a residential area in a medium-sized city. And I'm just walking on the sidewalk. So this is like your daily experience when you live in the Middle Kingdom. There's a lot of interesting smells as well, which I'll try to describe since you can't really get that from the video, but I can smell uh, lots of different food right now because there's a lot of street food. And there's bread breaking and roasted duck and frying vegetables. I can smell the cars. And since I'm about five blocks from the ocean, I can smell the ocean. I'm walking towards the ocean right now. I don't know if I'll record that long because it'll probably get boring, but for now I'll walk and ramble. So <clears throat> you can see all these little shops are mostly food and stuff, but there's all kinds of crazy stuff, I don't know. So people park their cars on the sidewalk usually. Uh, there's a lot of traffic, but not a lot of following of traffic rules. So that's that's something that's different from the West. Pretty much drive out every however you feel over here. I mean, they have their own way of doing it, but when most Westerners first come to China, they think they're gonna die in a traffic accident because of the way that people drive. But once you get used to it, it's not so bad. All right, I'm gonna let this video run to five minutes because I don't want it to be too boring. And I don't know how much of this is interesting now that I'm past that giant crowd of people. But, uh, it's a random dog. It's another thing, people don't leash their dogs here, but uh, they also treat them way differently than we do. So dogs always heal, they're never aggressive toward people. And uh, they don't use leashes or anything. They don't really train their dogs either, but they just treat them like they're animals, not like they're people, like Westerners do. So they act like more submissive toward humans. Yeah, I got this. I'm pushing a baby stroller. I don't really want to show my baby on camera, but I'm walking next to this giant dog that I don't know. Not on a leash. I'm not really worried about it. Because, like I said, dogs here are treated uh, a lot differently than in the West, and they just behave a lot differently. That dog knows if it messes with me that it'll get killed, so... Yeah. That's nice. This this city is actually pretty, pretty nice for China. It's not as crowded as a lot of Chinese cities. There's a lot more greenery. You can see all the trees here. I'm in the north, but since it's still summertime, it's not too bad. 
All right, we're coming up on five minutes, so I'm just gonna pause the video here, and I'm just gonna walk down to the beach since I'm already most of the way there. And once I'm down at the beach, I'll start up the video again, and you guys can get a look at uh, what a Chinese touristy beach area is like. Guys, we're almost to the beach now. I just wanted to show this area because I think this kind of stuff looks really cool. This is the kind of thing you don't really see in the West. That's like a bunch of marketplace type stuff. It says seafood market, mostly it looks like. And uh, we just passed the vegetable market. The city's real hilly. So these are apartment buildings right here. And then you kind of have like courtyards in front of them usually where people hang out at night or whatever. And this particular place has the market back there. Looking down here, just at the end of the road, can't quite see it yet, is the beach down there where the red light is. So I'm gonna pause the camera and I'll start it back up in just a minute. Hey YouTube, there's a the beach. I'm about to pull some crazy shit, and, or stuff, excuse me, and drive a stroller one-handed through traffic while holding a sausage and filming and talking. So I think after this SUV might be my chance. See if this guy lets me go. Alright. Sometimes you just gotta run through traffic here. But at this spot we're gonna wait for the light. Because there are a lot of lanes here. So this park is called Xinghai Park. Which means star sea in Chinese. I didn't say that very well. Let me say that again. Xinghai. The entry is right there, and through those trees, there's a short little park, and then the sea. There's probably some dudes in there doing this thing that's pretty cool. You'll hear a cracking noise as we walk up. They take these big bull whips and they. Uh, they crack them in the air to get exercise. Let me eat my sausage while I wait for the light to turn. Alright, this is taking way too long. I'll check back on the other side. All right, that's what I was talking about. Here we are. The man cracking his bull whip. We're gonna give him a wide berth. So we head toward the water here. Usually there's a lot of people dancing out here too, but I guess tonight we kind of missed that. I don't know. So this beach area, like I said, it's called Xinghai Park, and it runs all the way down for a long way. There's like a little fair theme park area. There's an aquarium. There's like an Arctic zoo type aqu slash aquarium that has like seals and polar bear and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> it goes all the way down to a, there's a yacht club at the other end and then also that tower out there is bungee jumping and they run a zip line from the tower down to the beach on weekends. All right, I gotta slow down. I'm going down some steps. One hand in the stroller. Ooh. Ooh, sorry, baby. All right. All right, one more flight of stairs. I'm gonna pause the camera, actually. One second. All right, we're down at the bottom. So, I'm gonna walk out to the edge of the platform area here and give you guys kind of a sweeping view of the, the beach. So there you can see the skyline starting to open up. There's the, the uh, fair I was talking about with the Ferris wheel. 
and uh, across out there. That bridge is pretty new. They just put that in in the last year or so. Connects two parts of the city together. Over there, there's an abandoned water park, which I've always wanted to go check out, but I haven't had the time yet. Maybe whenever I go in there, I'll videotape it to show you guys. It's kind of creepy looking, but you can climb over there and get in. This beach is actually abandoned today. I'm shocked. Probably because it's a weekday evening, but normally when I come down here, there's so many people, you can hardly walk. But... I'm actually not too upset that it's pretty empty. Alright guys, well, with that lovely shot of my skyline, I'm gonna leave it for now. This should, if any of you stuck with this video for this long, thank you. And uh, I hope you got a good taste of what it's like to take a walk in China. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.